worship this morning. Thank you, Jesus. We are in the presence of the Lord. And Lord, we thank you that we can come into your throne of grace and mercy with boldness, without fear or intimidation this morning. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity, Father God. Lord, we ask that you create within us clean hearts and renew a right spirit in us, Father. Sanctify us, O oh God, so that we can come in boldly, Father God. As we dedicate this time, as we dedicate our lives, Father God, we thank you that your glory will fill this house, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we worship you, God. There is a place. A place that I love to dwell is the presence of my Father. All the hosts of heaven gathered, worshiping, bowing down before Him, worshiping. Bowing down before Him. There is a place. There is a place. That I love to dwell. That I love to dwell. Is the presence of my Father. All the hosts of heaven gather. Worshiping. Bowing down before Him. Worshiping, bowing down before Him. I know a place. I know a place. I know a place. That I love to dwell. That I love to dwell is the presence of my Father. All the hosts of heaven gather in worship. Bowing down before Him, worshiping. We worship Him. Bowing down before Him, we sing holy, 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 holy. Of grace that's full of grace is the name above all others Jesus Christ the Lion of Judah we worship him bowing down before him I know a name I know a name I know a name that's full of grace that's full of grace is the name above all others jesus christ the lion of judah we worship him bowing down can we do it one more time i know one name i know a name i know a name that's full of grace that's full of grace is the name above all others Jesus Christ, the Lion of Judah, we worship Him, bowing down before Him. We sing hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, holy, 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 holy,
love to dwell. That I love to dwell is the presence of my Father. All the host of heaven gather, we worship Him, bowing down before Him. I know a place. I know a place. I know a place. I love to dwell. That I love to dwell is the presence of my Father. All the host of heaven gather and worship Him, bowing down before Him. I know a name. I know a name. I know a name that's full of grace. That's full of grace is the name above all others. Jesus Christ, the Lion of Judah, we worship Him, bowing down before Him. We worship Him, we worship Him, bowing down before Him. We worship, we worship Him, bowing down before Him. Oh, we worship Him, Lord. We worship Him, bowing down before Him. I know a name. I know a name that's full of grace. That's full of grace is the name above all others. Jesus Christ, the Lion of Judah. We worship Him. Bowing down before him. Come on, somebody worship him. We worship him. Bowing down before him. We worship you. Bowing down before him. Lord, we bless your name this morning. The name that is above every other name is Jesus Christ. And at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. Lord, we cry to King of Kings this morning. And Lord of Lords, we worship your God with our hands clapping. And our feet stomping. Woo! You are the song on our lips this morning, God. Come on, put those hands together to worship Him. Hey! Here we go. You are the song on my lips every morning. Cause you are faithful in every way And I will declare that your love lasts forever No need to worry, my eyes fix on you Can we do it one more time? You are You are the song on my lips every morning Faithful God Cause you are faithful in every way. I will declare. And I will declare that your love lasts forever. No need to worry, my eyes fix on you. Here we go. You are. Every day, King of all. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Absolutely no one has come close, God. You are worthy to be thanks and praise this morning, Father God. So we, your temple, we give you reverence, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Worthy. Oh, worthy are you, Lord. Worthy to be thanked and praised and worship and adore. Worthy, oh, worthy are you, Lord. Worthy to be thanked and praised and worship and adore. Sing it. Sing it. Hallelujah. Lamb upon the throne. We worship. 
worship and adore you. We make your glory known, singing hallelujah. Glory to the King, your more than a conqueror. Lord of everything. Is he worthy this morning? Worthy, oh, worthy are you, Lord. Worthy to be thanked and praised, worshiped and adored. To be thanked and praised and worshipped and adored. Come on, somebody lift your voice and sing. Sing in hallelujah. Lamb upon the throne. Come on. We worship and adore you. You've made your glories known. Sing it hallelujah, glory to the King, you're more than a conqueror, the Lord of everything. We sing hallelujah, sing it We worship, we worship and adore you. You made your glory, make your glory alone. Sing in hallelujah, glory to the King, the Lord and the Conqueror, the Lord. You know, in the Old Testament, at the dedication of the temple, the glory of the, the Lord came down and it filled the sanctuary. Lord, we thank you for your presence, for your glory, filling this place like never before. We thank you that the presence of your shadow is over shadow in this place right now father god hallelujah hallelujah singing hallelujah lamb upon the throne we worship and adore you you made your glory snow singing hallelujah Glory to the King, you're more than a conqueror, you're more than a conqueror, you're more than a conqueror, you're Lord of everything, you're more We give you glory this morning. We declare your majesty, God. We crown you king of kings this morning, God. Hallelujah. We humble ourselves in your presence this morning, God. And we cry, holy, holy, Lord God Almighty. 
Hallelujah. Yes, the world will bow down and say you are God. Every man will bow down and say you are King. So let's start right. Why would we wait, King of glory, fill this place, I just want to be with you, I just want to be with you, King of glory. Just wanna be with you. Just wanna be with you. Come on, ladies. Yes, yes the, world. the world will bow down. bow down and say you are every man. Every man. Should we wait? Why would we wait? Let's we praise can him. Praise you now. In victory. In victory. Come on, lift him up, lift him up. Just want 
The king is in the room. The king is in the room. The king is in the room. Hallelujah. in the room the king is in the room the king is in the room come on reach out and touch him this morning <laughs> reach out and touch him this morning what do you want the king to do for you this morning? There's never been a love so great, he died so weak, then he rose up from that grave. Name another king like this. Now all authority forever belongs to him. He reigns in victory. Name another king like this. Lord, we dance in your presence this morning. God. Oh, we worship you, God.
Matchless love and beauty endless world Nothing in this world can satisfy Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry Come on, declare it this morning Who is like you, Lord? Who is like you, Lord, in all we worship you, much less love and beauty, endless world. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Jesus, Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Your prayer. Treasures of my heart and of my soul. In my weakness, in my weakness, you are merciful. Redeemer, Redeemer of my past and present, Lord. Owner, owner of my future days to come. Come on, somebody tell him this morning. Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven to me. All my days on earth I will away. Hey, the moment that I see you face to face, but nothing in this world can satisfy. It's the bread of life. It's the living water. Jesus, you're the cup that won't run oh, dry. Jesus. Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Come on, declare it. Your presence is heaven to me. Let me make your presence, Lord.
nothing like your presence, Lord. Your presence. Is heaven to me? Oh, we worship you, Lord. King of glory, we worship. Your majesty, <laughs> we worship you this morning. Lord, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we worship you. What a peace that passes all understanding this morning. Rivers of living water. Come fill our lives like never before. Open up the floodgates of heaven. And let it rain, God. Let it rain. Let it rain in our lives, God. God, we worship you. God, we worship you this morning. God, we glorify your name. We worship you, God. And we give you thanks. you ready? Yes. Then go. I, I, I say, I said, get set, get on your mark. Now get ready and you go. We played a little game years ago and it was like a race, if you recall being in races, like a race, and all the kids would stand on one line, right? And the announcer would say, get set, and all the kids would get on the line. And then the announcer or the teacher would say, are you ready? And they are you ready for the atmosphere? Or are you a part of the, what's going on here? Now, now get ready, then go. Now in the spiritual sense, God would say, get set, get on your mark, first of all. How many knew your mark is wherever you are? Your mark is your space. Your mark is your area where you've been assigned whether you want to be there or not. Whether it be on the job, 
in a grocery store or wherever, is where God has planted you to be his representative. He can use you right there as his ambassador, no matter where it is. Okay, now, he says now, get ready. In a spiritual sense, are we ready? Have you been praying? Have you fasted? Do you praise? Do you worship? He's not going to put you in a territory if you are not ready. In the spiritual sense. So, right now, we're going to get ready. Even the athletes, when they get ready for a real race, they have to go on a special diet, they have to get proper sleep, and they have to practice. The same with us. We have to get ready by practicing all those beautiful attributes of what make us ready for this race. Now you think about the Bible and you think about Noah. Before we get to Noah, our base scripture Jamaica, and preach the gospel to every creature, not because of black creature, or white creature, or mean creature, or ugly creature, or stingy mean creature, because they say if the person, know, if he says if, you, if he's your enemy, you're to pray for him. So you can't go against your enemy and wish he would just die or just get out of your face, because God knows your heart, and you're accountable for what you are. So you can send your own self through your thought. So we got to be very, very careful with that. Okay, now take for instance, as far as it's going, we had Noah. God said go, and Noah went. He went. God, he didn't question God. He just went. God said go, and he went. And God asked him to build a big ark. What they said, that crazy fool, what is he doing building a big ark? And they... Make, they made fun of him and everything. But he was righteous, and God loved him so much that he spared, he, he, uh, spared Noah and his family. And the other were all just washed up. So it's a key to being obedient. We walk by faith and not by sight, first of all. We got to get beyond that, first of all. We have to keep saying what God say, the words say, and not what your uh, peewee mind says in the natural Okay? Uh, there's still, God will protect us. He protected Noah because he was faithful. Then we had Abraham, and God just told him out of clear the sky, look, look, man, I don't want you in this territory. They don't, they don't want to live right. They don't want to do right in that sense today. Look, you pack up and you just go. You go, you take your family and go. And he told Abraham, go. Oh, he wandered in Canaan. He wandered for years and years. He even had a son. God told him to sacrifice his son. And who in the world want to sacrifice their son? But he trusted God so much. He wanted to give his son up. And as a result, what happened? God spared his son because he was faithful to God. Then we have Jonah who was really uh, stubborn, uncooperative, wanted to do his own thing. And uh, out there on a the ship, and ship doing everything. Everything he wanted to do. And he was was a hard-headed prophet. And um, God told him, God didn't command, uh, command the people that live in that evil city, Nineveh, warn them. Because you know, God loves the sinner, too. He loves the unfaithful. He loves everybody. He don't, he, don't love, he don't love our sin, but he loves you. He created you, right? But he was stiff-headed. He said, uh-uh, I'm not going to listen to God. I'm going to do my own thing. So he decided he'd just go the opposite direction. But it got so rough out there in the ocean. And the people knew, his friends knew that he was the one that was the cause of it. You know, they knew he was bullheaded, hardhead, and they threw one over. They threw him over. Just threw him out in the big ocean. And as a result, he was swallowed up by the way, y'all. Three days. Took three days before God knew his heart. Because he's in the whale's belly. But before God picked up his heart, that he's ready now. 
that he allowed the whale to spit out on the dry land. And he repented. And after repentance uh, and prayed about it, God commanded the fish after he vomited him out. Then Jonah, obedience, he began to preach repentance to the people in Nineveh. And they all were saved. God loves our love, his grace, compassion. Now, we are told to go. We are told to get on our, to get on our mark, first of all. We've got to be in the right place, not because your friends are there, not because some, well, my friend don't go to that church, or my friend don't like this, so I'm not going to, I'm going to do what they do. You better do what God say, not what the friends say or what the, other, what the crowd is doing. Um, I don't know about you, I cannot speak for Jamaica, but where we are, all hell has broke out tremendously. First of all, we got the gay rights. You know that's against God's audience. God said man and woman. About a month ago for Father's Day, we took my husband out for Father's Day. And all down the city, you see these big, huge flags, but that big, rainbow color, advertising their rights. And we're here to stay. And we're still looking for the flag. Uh, in, in, uh, they also had that week, like a flag for the black history. Never, it was way, way somewhere else down the street. But they're making their stand, and we're not going. We talk about it, um, but where we are, the boys like wearing their pants down like this. They're showing they may have black pants on and red underwears in the back, you know, or striped underwears and the pants in the back. And they're walking around in the store and keep pulling them up. That's a spirit. That is a spirit. And, and, the, and the elderly, I'm old myself, but I pray for them because we talk about it, but we're not doing anything about it. I always say, if you're going to talk about a person, if you're going to talk about it, and you're not praying, then keep your mouth shut. Amen. You know, have you prayed for them? Yeah. Then you have no right to talk about them. Period. Because you haven't done your job as a Christian. And then we have the racism in our country. I guess you all know about George Floyd and all that going on. But it still continues because we as a body of Christ has not taken our stand. You know, years ago, it was nothing for, when my mother would come, they didn't have all night prayer law meetings. They were prostrate on the floor and wailed to morning, praying and praising God for the victory. You don't see it today. Maybe here, but not where we are. People prayed all the time, in season, out season, prayed all the time. But they had all night long prayer meetings. It wasn't just on a Sunday that the church was open. It was open any time. They have to get there and just to pray. And then we have uh, mass killing. This is the newest thing in our country, U.S., where they got these guns. I can't think of the name of the thing, but they fire like 30 sometimes. So you got the racist whites who decide their mind, we're going to get rid of some of these black folks. So our country is being op overpopulated with the color, and they're afraid that we're going to take over the whole country because of the Mex Mexicans and because they're just mixing all together, all the cultures. It's called the brown race. So if you're Mexican or if you are part Puerto Rican, you're in the country, you're still considered the black race. So you got these fools with their mind, like this just happened, what, a week ago, this man, the 4th of July. He on top of a building, on top of a rooftop, and aiming at who he shot, who to shoot. How many was killed? That was in Illinois. Was about seven? Anyway, about, about seven? About seven killed for no reason. For no reason. And then we had the mass killing in Texas with children. But that's not the second time they went into schools. See, here we are, they're going in schools and churches now. You know, you better be prayed up and blood up because they're not afraid of the church. They're going inside the church. It may have never happened here. They're going inside the church and killing them and coming and pretend they're, they're, they want to be a part of the Bible study. We had that also. And then the Bible, the man, the Bible said he turned on them and shoot them up, you know, all this kind of stuff. But uh, we're not going. Face it. We got a lot of Christian people say, but they're not doing it. They've got relaxed, laid back, and not ready for the race. But that race, you, we better be prayed up. And then just a week ago, the squeegee boys, these children that want to make money, they have these little 
uh, water squeezes where they wet the cloth, and they, this is traffic going both ways, right? The, the guys, some of them, nine, ten, some teenagers, they get in, in, get in between cars, so when the cars stop, they're going to wash the windows for the people, right? He, this guy was washing his, this man's car. He told him, get off my car. I'm not going to do it. Okay, he went got a baseball bat. Got a, got a baseball bat, not only beat, he got shot too. They're shooting up left and right. And the gun law is not passed yet where they can't get these guns. And you use these guns really for the military, for the army. Not no one shot. You're talking about 20, 30 some rounds. So you, you gotta, we got to pray for the government and for God to intervene because as long as they're making money, they don't really care. They're like positions. Positions mean more than a human body. Money means more than a human body. That's where we are. I can only speak for U.S. All I can say is God told us that we need to go. Not only go, we have to be obedient. And I, we're just not doing neither. And some people are afraid to witness and share the good news because they're afraid of being rejected. And they won't do it. But the Holy Spirit tells you to do it. You don't care if they reject you or not. God going to bless you for your obedience. If they say, man, get out of my face. I want to talk to you. Don't be offensive. It's not you that they're against. They're against the spirit that's in you. Because spirit knows spirit. Right? So we got to go out. We got to go out and we got to preach to every creature. Because once you hear the word, you're held accountable for it. Did you know that? Once you heard the word and you knew that it was the word of God and you don't do it, you're held accountable for it. God's going to blame you for it. You're going to bring, you're going to curse your own self. And then number of the big thing also today is that we have just as many Christians speaking negative stuff as positive stuff. Oh, man. Oh, he's doing really bad. You know, he lost that job, lost that job. And all you're doing is cursing them over and over again. Because life and death is in the power of your tongue. So you can curse yourself or bless yourself. But I choose to say what God said to bless me. And you should also. But the word for you today is you got to go. Somebody might not want to be saved you day, the day you tell them about Jesus. But you plant the seed. They heard it. Where spirit, that spirit went to their spirit. The word is life. It went into them. And now someone else, God will send maybe to water that seed. Then we know anything in the future, the person is saved. But we're not even planning it. God not relying on, we rely on us to plant it. We're afraid to share it. We're, going, in other words, you, we're sitting in churches for nothing at all. Blank space, blank time. Because he told us as disciples, like he told them over 2,000 years ago, years ago. He said, I'm leaving you all now. It's in your hands. I'm not, I have nothing else to do for you. He's not going to come down and do it for you. He, he, he has done it all. He gave you the word. It's up to you now. Us to a big mouth up. We big mouth with everything else. We can party back. We can get loud. It's now to get loud for Jesus. It's the only way it's going to come to pass. And, and believe me, it's so much competition in the spiritual realm as positions and politics and all that. You, you, we got to pray. We, we have no choice. We don't want to waste our time coming to church every Sunday, hearing the word, and go out and do nothing about it until the next Sunday comes. Go back to church again, hear the word. It was a good service, yeah? Yeah, man, it was a good service. And do nothing about it. Because God is going to hold us accountable. We need to stop talking about the people in the world. Stop talking about what, they, what they're doing. Isn't that a shame? If we're not praying about it, we need to keep our mouth shut. Keep our mouth shut. That's what I say. You know, so we got to go. He said, go. You go. You go. You go. All of you go. I saved you to save someone else. Jesus, you know, Jesus, he, well, he was the disciple. When he left, now we're the disciples. The 12 are gone. We're the only hands and feet that he has to do this thing. Because if you think it's going to get better on your own, I'm sorry. No, it's not going to get better. 
If we do nothing but just come church every Sunday and do nothing and not and be afraid to open your mouth, he has not given us a spirit of fear. Natural fear will come upon you. Don't get me wrong. Because a week ago, we thought they had a gas leak in my house. And we had to go out the house until the fire department came, three fire engines, and the chief, and they had to come out, go through the whole house. And it always happened with me. Then we always come against me when I'm doing a big mission, on a mission trip. And I could laugh at it because I see what was going on. Been to the doctor since then, you know, cut my finger, uh, couldn't stop coughing. I said, what? I said, what, devil? I'm going to get rid of this. I said, I'm going to the doctors. I'm going to get rid of this. I went. And he was saying, yeah, you know, you ate with Donna last Sunday, and, and, and you know, you make... You might got COVID, then you gave it to her. And remember, you hugged Keisha and, Ga and, and Gabrielle in church. They, got my, they may got the COVID too. He went on and on and on, the thoughts to the mind. So I had to go. I had to go to shut his mouth up. The thing, nothing wrong. He said, oh, she's a, this laser. Oh, this blood would just circulate out. And there was a little cut on my finger. And I caught myself, helped my husband, like doing some orange for him anyway. Long story. And negative. But he would play thoughts with the mind. You got to kill the mind first. The mind, the mind, the mind, the mind. If we need to, in the morning, as far as going, to make our open confessions like I'm talking to you. Because when, I'm, when you're talking out aloud and you're speaking the word of God, you're speaking to the enemy. So what I say in the morning, after I drink my six ounce bottle of water, I will walk in love, joy. I'm speaking to the enemy. Peace. I will walk in divine health. You know, supernatural divine here from the top of my head to the soles, tip of my toes. I will walk in divine protection from danger seen unseen. Now this before you step, this is before you leave the house. You kill it before you get out there. He's waiting for you. I mean, you step out that door and heaven's talk to him. Oh, I'm going to see what I can plan for her today. Let me finish walking, first of all. Um, I walk in forgiveness. You know, that's a decision. That's a decision. Ain't got things with the person did to you. It's your decision. I will walk in forgiveness. And if it's, if it's a person I know I need forgiveness, I will walk and I'll call the name out. In Jesus' name. Daily. Daily. This is done Daily. You're writing 60 some days a year, six to five days a year. You know, I will walk in your wisdom. God, your wisdom, I'll walk in your wisdom today. And I walk in your favor. I thank you for favor. And it comes all the time. Sometimes two and three favors in one day. And now walk in your anointing, your boldness, not mine, and your authority in Jesus' name. Then I tell the enemy, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice with gladness. So when the enemy come against with these thoughts, you already built up the thought back in his face. But if you don't do it, you ain't got nothing. He would accept that one to do this. Oh, I know, it, I know what irks him there. So I'll set this person up to do this, and then I'll set him there. Because this stuff for you is defeat. But he said, Jesus said, but I came that you may have life. Not only just have life, he said abundantly. But the thief is the one that came to steal from you, kill and destroy you. But it has to get in your spirit. I'm training my great-grandchildren right now to learn the word. And the boys, what, the is turning six. He just read it now. But as kids read scriptures every day, read it every day, they'll begin to memorize it in their spirit. And it's their defense because the hell is everywhere. Believe me, and we can tell you about that. Well, anyway, God told me to tell you, tell us all, we need to go. Get on your mark, get where he wants you to be. You cannot be in the wrong place now at the wrong time and think he's going and think to and, and use you. No, you better be where he wants you to be, not your husband. Not your boyfriend, not your associates, where he wants you to be. That's the one you have to hear for. You can be accountable to God, nobody else. And I, I thought about this. I was going through scripture 
And we learned this little song years ago. And it said, uh, let God arise. And the enemy be scattered. How is he going to arise if he don't have something to go arise through? We are the instrument for Jesus. Let God arise. And when he arise, let the enemy be scattered. Let God arise and be scattered. And it goes like this. And some of the team, I, must, I want to sing it. Some of you all know it. Come on, stand up. I know, I, I just, I know we just went over inside the van, but it's okay. <laughs> it says, let God arise and the enemy be scattered. Let God arise and the enemy be scattered. Let God arise and the enemy be scattered. Let God arise. Let's go, let's go, and it'll be. Let's go, stand up. Let's go, let's go, and let's stand up. We want it to be scattered. Let's go, let's go, let's go, and it'll be. Let's go, let's go, let's go, and let's stand up. We want it to be scattered. Let's go, let's go, and it'll be be scattered. Let's go, let's go. All right, let's go, let's go, stay. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, and the enemy be scattered. Let's go, let's go, and the enemy be scattered. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, and the enemy be scattered. Let's go, let's go, and the enemy be scattered. Let's go, let's go, and it a baby scatter. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor. Look around, tell your neighbor. Let's go, let's tell your neighbor. Let the it a baby scatter. Let's go, let's go, and it a baby scatter. Let's go, let's go, and it a baby scatter. Let's go. go. So tell your neighbor, go. Point to your neighbor, go. He's a way maker. Hallelujah. You will make a way. You have always made a way. Oh God, oh God. Here we go. Some days I am, some days low. But I will not give up. No, I won't let go. I know. God will make a way for me. Oh, I see troubles on the left, troubles on the right. Trusting in you, oh God, I know I'll be alright. I know God will make a way for me. We are the God of the valley, the mountains and the sea. Powerful and mighty, you provide all of my needs. Through the storms, I will believe you will make a way for me. Some days high and some days low, but I will not give up. No, I won't let go. I know. Make a way for me. Oh, I see 
Troubles on the left, troubles on the right. Trusting in you, oh God, I know I'll be alright. I know God will make a way for me. Come on, stand to your feet. You're the God of the valley, the mountains and the sea. I will not worry. God will make a way for me. You're the God of the valley, the mountains and the sea. I will not worry. You will make a way for me. If you believe in this morning, powerful and mighty, you provide all of my need. Through the storms I will believe. Come on, dance in this presence. God will make a way for me. Powerful, powerful and mighty. You provide all of my needs. Through the storms I will believe. Make a way for me. You make a way for me. 